Hello, hello, and welcome, Ascended Stars. <laughs> Ali Jade here. Ali in the house. I hope you're all are doing good. Um, yeah, I, I, these eclipses have, you know, kicked my booty. So I'm doing it differently a little bit, as you can see. I've just, you know, changes in order. I'm getting bored as usual. And um, I'm trying to get this just perfect, you guys. But, you know, of course, my Virgo nature. Happy birthday, Virgo. Happy birthday. I'm sorry for the glare. I cannot take that off, okay? I'm doing a five-card spread. And um, it, I'm making it short and sweet. <laughs> Let me put the timer on. I'm going to give you guys 20 minutes and then it's gonna go off. How is that Pisces full moon treating you, by the way? Okay, so I did the um, five card spread and I've saved time. And what was at the bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. That's your card, Virgo, slow and steady. And um, so this, this, uh, this revelation of the Knight of Pentacles coming in for September is really, um, you know, harnessing your patience and you as a Virgo not being in a hurry to do things, you know, rush and fast and quick. Um, you know, there's some hesitation, I feel like not really wanting to get into it for whatever reason that may be. Um, that's the scenario that we have going on, the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, he's studious. Some of you, it's September, going back to school. It's going to take, you know, grueling hours for that degree. Um, and parents, when your kids are in school, you're in school too. So it, it's like, you know, just wanting to just maybe transition from the summer and the chaos of the eclipses and into um, a more routine set because that's what Virgo is, you know, it rules the, day, the, the activities of the day, the daily grind. Okay, so let's do the five card spread. Now, um, this is where you are right now. So let's see where that is. The Empress, isn't that beautiful? Wow. Um, you know, I often look at the Empress and think of the minor arcana of her as the Queen of Pentacles. And um, she's just sitting there very comfortable in her chase, lounging, um, just in her glory, her beauty. We do have Venus in Libra right now. So um, that's giving us a very good sense of our value, of um, security for everybody. But, you know, Virgo seems to be one of the most insecure signs, I think, because we're so critical of ourselves of others if we are critical of others imagine that talk loudly in your own head about yourself so you're in a good place it's a major arcana it's um about creativity about uh being ready to create something is coming uh, you know you could get pregnant my dear some of you um might be involved with you know very fertile people <laughs> including yourself and um and and pregnancy could be short you know coming in the month of september if you're not careful that's another thing okay so um where i i, I was watching a video and i loved it and, and it says where are you denying your power like where are you playing it small so that's what I'm focusing on this month um, because Virgo is such a wonderful sign, but we do play it small a lot of the time. Uh, so here, where is your power? The Nine of Cups comes up. The emotion, okay? Nine, wisdom, emotional wisdom. And that's where you're playing it small, you know? Like, that's the translation of what I'm giving this card. Um this is a great card. I love it. It's it's a wish come true. So it's your birthday month. It's time for you to uh, get out there, get going and start wishing and start doing, start being, um, start manifesting. Your wish will come true. So you're playing it small. Where are you playing it small? 
where you dare to dream small dream big right dream big that's what it's saying so that's a beautiful energy i mean <laughs> i didn't expect that at all um what is causing your circumstance right now the eight of pentacles the eight of pentacles this is working hard which is very true to virgo nature um and enjoying your work enjoying what you do um so you know work's going to be on the brain i think uh, for a lot of the virgos it's about okay you know what i'm in demand i am feeling good i i'm going to be doing what i want to do this could be the wish come true you're doing what you want to do you're not um excuse me you're not uh you know i i'm having still a mercurial moment here <laughs> of retrograde um you're not playing it small you you're going for what you want and um you're you're working for what you want you're like hell man i'm gonna go get what i need i'm gonna work for it and then you know this whole energy of like really of of creativity of getting what you want and willing to work for it yeah sorry for the glare I'm still getting used to this setup. <laughs> Look at me, I'm smashing down. Okay, and then we have um, the outside influences. So what are the outside influences or the situation? The Nine of Pentacles. Um, so it, it's this, this card tells me you're not really receiving that much support or you don't feel supported, but yet you're capable of um, getting what you want and you're you know you, this is a pentacle it's a, a physical energy so you're going to be feeling good you're going to be feeling good and um, you're not necessarily looking to, to, to be in love or to fall in love or to even date perhaps you're just you're working I think you're gonna be too busy working honestly I think you're gonna be too busy working and um and just doing what you love you know i think you're going to be too busy doing what you love so um the outside influences you're they're not really influencing you you're really in your power okay because here you are in your power we have three pentacles and and this is the virgo reading so this is wonderful now the advice from the universe O M G, the star. <laughs> Dang, this is so good because this tells me, Virgo, um, you only have the one nine of cup cards, the cup card, only one. This tells me, this is, I, I love this about the star. It's, it, it's, um, you see how she is pouring. She's vulnerable. She, you're available to people. You're vulnerable. You're authentic. You're being your true self. You're grounded on the earth. You have one foot in the water, one, your whole knee right there on the earth. This is such a great compliment because you're, you're able to nurture yourself and nurture others at the same time. But as many of you are empaths, you're not allowing that energy to seep into you. You can separate your emotions from uh, any any agenda or any plans or even any manipulation that others might want to um, gear you towards and you're you're not having it so you're in your power this is great I mean I am so happy for you Virgo um, the Empress and the star card how much more beautiful can it get it can't get any more beautiful than that that's insane Wow okay so let's move forward to some love okay um i'm gonna pick three cards to give me the information on the love and i'm using the robert hansen deck it's just so cute and this other deck everyone's using i'm sure you can find out what it is i don't know what it is i'm sorry um but while i'm shuffling for this deck i do want to tell you that i have some specials okay um this month it's my birthday month and I've lowered uh, my readings. So first of all, my repeat clients, it's gonna be $16.99, or if it's your birthday this month, I can do uh, a reading for you at $16.99. Um, 
for a spiritual soul session, which is 45 minutes or a year ahead session. And this is in US dollars, guys. And um, if you're a repeat client, hit me up for $16.99. Um, it's going to take nine business days for delivery. But most likely, that it's going to come in half the time because I um, just give myself that much time. And for specials for the spiritual soul session, this is a general reading. And I can see how, where you are in, in balance emotionally, spiritually, psychologically. That's an hour-long video, $18.99. Okay, and then um, if you just want a romance, you want to know about love, we can do the uh, romance love reading. And that gets, that's an hour. It gets a Celtic cross. It gets the divine feminine, divine masculine that I created the spread for and some angel oracle and guidance. So let's see what we have for love for Virgo. And I will give you some more info too, because um, I'm going to be giving away a couple gifts. All right, um, love, 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 I love it. Oh, dang, oh, day, oh, day. Okay, all right, this is trippy, trippy. Okay, so you got the um, Six of Cups, my dear, Six of Cups. Okay, and with the Six of Cups, it's someone coming from the past, but I do past lives too, I, I, I can sense past lives and um this could be just someone that you've had in your past life and so when you do meet them um it's gonna feel like in intense incredible passionate um special uh you know all those wonderful things it's gonna feel um surreal okay i really feel it's gonna feel surreal like what the heck and um do leave room for the universe to give you what they want not what you expect in the package that you expected okay be forewarned now meeting this person this could be ongoing you know kind of doing present and, and future at the same time in a way so this could be presently happening to you or it could be um future energies but you meet this person and you know you may not really feel like this is the person for you and um it could be many different things why it's that way um because it's still some ripening you know like the empress who's pregnant and is going to have the child in nine months there's still some growth to be done. Like you don't want that child to be premature. You know, you don't want that child to come out. So there's still an element of um, time that needs to pass before it really hits a really good stride of yin and yang energy, give and take and, you know, commitment and maturity and those things. And like, I, you know, I want you in my life. I, you're the one, blah, blah, blah. So that's, it, it's going to be beautiful energy. You're going to meet this person. Yes. Um, but they have some maturing to do because I have the King of Cups here. And um, this could go either way, my dear. It could go like you need to mature a little bit or that other person needs to mature a little bit. Um, they need they need to get emotional maturity okay they need to grow up a little bit and we know as divine feminines that much of the masculine has been purging and has been um, trying to settle with these intense uh, waves of cosmic information coming through so um, they will have an acceleration with their growth but it's going to take time that's what um and it's going to be probably december okay it's going to be probably december and i'm not saying you're going to meet this person you might have interaction with this person you might be con connected or know this person um but it won't be this it won't be love love until december okay if that makes any sense to you let's look at the romance card let's see what they say give your relationship a chance give your relationship a chance work on your partnership so you see how the divine feminine she has her eyes closed um she, you know with the with the with that energy of the empress and nine of pentacles 
um, there's some woundedness that needs to be corrected, that needs to be healed for the Divine Feminine. And the Divine Masculine is supportive, but this needs to be done. So this this um, this Temperance card is could be for the Divine Feminine. And, who, and, and it could be a male playing the Divine Feminine in, in the relationship. But... Um, or it could be, it doesn't matter actually what I'm being, what I'm hearing is um, it, it, the, the feminine, divine feminine is right now sorting out, the, 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 not the divine feminine, I mean the female in the relationship is sorting out stuff within herself, in her psyche, in her, in herself, um, getting, getting the ducks in a row, getting everything in order for her, for this, you know, love that, you know, we've been waiting, waiting, waiting on and the angels are supporting it. Um, again, here's another, you know, two cards with angel wings. So we do have celestial support here helping us, and um, and we're just trying to get get fine fine tunement fine tunement of this union um, because there could be a huge polarity in. Oh, I don't know how to tell you, but like just it could be ages, it could be racial, it could be sexes, it, it could be a lot of like something that there's like a curveball that you're not quite you know you're, you're you're not quite it doesn't settle where well like in your normal what your past relationships have been which is actually what you don't want but you know um okay so let's see let's move forward integrity you demonstrate the truth and honesty of your soul and manifest love with every action okay so that could be you you know living in your highest integrity here and um you know let's say you meet this person at work and you don't want to have a relationship at work you've told yourself that's like the worst and so you have to control yourself you know and 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 so if there's like there could be some kind of scenario where it needs to um have time and that's, I keep feeling that energy. It just needs time, okay? Um, and it's like the more time you spend with each other, it feels like a reset. Like there's energetic reset going on. Change. 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 Nobody likes change, okay? Number five. Um, my, there's going to be change. This is I'm going to call this uh, September to remember because this is the month that stuff's going to change. Okay, I'm glad this card came out. Basically, um, Mercury's moving straight ahead, and uh, Venus is in Libra relationships, and Jupiter's in Scorpio in in um, emotions, and um, most of the other planets are retrograde, but. Saturn is going to go direct um, on the on the sixth. So, and Mars is going direct. So, all these planets are out, outer planets are going to start moving direct, and there's going to cause change. Okay, it's going to cause um, some of it is very uncomfortable. Okay, a lot of people don't like change. I'm all about change. I'm a number five, so I'm like hell yeah, bring the change. Oh my God, look at that. So Virgo, you're going. Please expect this change. Please prepare yourself. Please um, psych yourself up for change. Let's let's just be honest. You're going to have to psych yourself up for change. And this card says, I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So you don't want this stagnation. So it's great. So you might even change jobs and find somebody, or you know, change locations, move. Oh my gosh. And what did I mention about school? So some of you, yeah, this change is because maybe because you're you're educating yourself, you're going back to school, you're learning. The answer that you're seeking involves going to school. Trust me, I did not want to hear this. I did not want to hear this. This is crazy. Oh my god. Okay. Well, you know, spirit talks to me too. So, um <laughs> it I mean, I feel I feel the Virgo is pretty adept with information they're kind of quirky they know quirky things but here it's saying that they want you to maybe get that certification get that um, degree get that uh, concrete you know label onto you 
So you can really be taken seriously or you can take it to the next level. Yeah. All right. So um, I thank you so much for watching my channel. And like I was going to tell you, I have um, I have a special where um, if you go to my Facebook, my Instagram, my Snapchat, my Twitter or my WhatsApp um, and you become uh, become a, a, a follower or um, subscriber, I don't know, like if you follow me or are there are on there. I am going to have three gifts I'm giving away. Um, one of them is going to include the reading, you know, the first one. And then the second one is going to have um, some jewelry. And the third one is um, some a decks of cards. So I hope that you guys um, get my information down below at the info box and start following me because I'm going to start doing a lot more things and um, I want a bigger audience to check it out. I love you. Take care. And um, thank you for watching. Bye.